Hey guys, Mr. P here. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. I hope you guys are well and having a fantastic week. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get brain bombs. Which will boost your intelligence, therefore boosting your experience gains. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the brain fungus, mothman eggs, the purified water and the sugar bombs. If you are liking the content and you would like to see some more future helpful guides, please hit that like and subscribe button. It will really, really help out the channel, guys. You guys have been awesome in your support. The herbivore mutation will increase your benefits of the uh, brain bomb, so you'll get six intelligence instead of three, so it doubles it. And to get the recipe, we're going to head over to the White Spring Resort. We're going to go to where all the shops are, and we're going to speak to a robot vendor called Antoine. He sells it. It's not too expensive either. For the perks, you're going to want green thumb, so you can get twice as much brain fungus. And you're going to want super duper, so there's a 30% chance to double your results, which means more brain bombs. And good with salt, just so it decays 90% slower. This includes the brain fungus and the mothman eggs also. Okay, on to the ingredients farming locations. First, we're gonna to head to Emmett Mountain Disposal Site. This is where you do the radiation rumble. We're gonna head inside this little tin building and head through the door. Once you're inside, you wanna head on the first right, then the left, and then through the hole. There'll be loads of brain fungus all down this little cave system. Be careful you don't go too far down because there is a rad zone with really high radiation so you might end up dying there just sort of stop where i stop in the video our second brain fungus location is the rusty pick i'm gonna go up to this red door go inside and then once you're inside just in front of you there'll be two just on the wall on the floor here then you're gonna go up to the back past the script machine down the stairs and just through that little hole in the wall, you're gonna see some on the wall and just a bit further down, you're gonna see some more also. Our third location will be the White Spring Resort. Just as you spawn in, you wanna head east, hug this building and turn right around the corner. And just past these cars, go through this little gap and there'll be some fusion generators. And then just amongst all the trash and the debris on the floor, you'll find loads and loads here, guys. Now for the Mothman eggs, we're gonna head over to the west side of the map to Point Pleasant. Just go across the bridge here. You can sneak past these enemies if you are running a sneak build, but if not, just shoot them. And just head left to where the water is. Clear out these enemies. And then just by these red curtains, there's some mothman eggs on the floor here. Okay, from here you want to head east, just through this little gap next to the scorpion until you reach this little memorial and there'll be loads of mothman eggs in this area also. Okay, and for the sugar bombs, now I will release a full guide and all the locations I know for all the sugar bombs as they don't spoil, so you can just hoard them. I'm just going to show you a few locations just for this video. And we're going to start the New River Gorge Bridge West. You can just jump up here with marsupial serum, but if not, then you have to go around. And the key for this door is actually at the Camden Park. If you go to the top of the roller coaster, you will see a guy, a dead guy on a roller coaster that has the key. There'll be a couple of sugar bombs in here. Our next location for the sugar bombs is Flatwoods. And you want to head down the road towards the church there. Once you're inside the church at the back, there's a door. Go up to another set of stairs. 
And then at the back here, you got the second set of stairs. And at the top where the bell tower is, there's a couple of sugar bombs there also. And then jump down. There's a little food area here. On this table here, sometimes you can find a sugar bomb. And also in the kitchen, make sure you have a look around there properly. Sometimes there's also a sugar bomb on one of the shelves. Next up, we head to Morgantown. And just as you spawn in, you'll go into this little red rocket here. Inside on the shelves can spawn a packet of sugar bombs. So make sure you have a look around here first. Then once you've come out of there, go south along this road. Just as you get to this little crossroad, turn left. Next to the high school. High school's just there. And you're looking for a building at the top of the hill here that has a blue door. Go through that blue door. And then once you're inside, you're going to head up the set of stairs. Now it's worth just to loot this place. You can find some cool stuff like Nuka-Cola Quantums and stuff like that. But you're going to come in this kitchen here and there'll be some sugar bombs on the fridge. There could be some on the work surface. I've, max I've seen in here is free, so definitely worth a look. And then once we're outside, we're going to turn left and you sort of just want to head southwestish. Just keep following this road down here. And you're going to come to a building that has the bottom half red and the top half white. This is like a little shopping mart. You can't go inside or anything, but just on the shelf here, you can find some sugar bombs. Next, we are going to head to Moss Town, which is on the right hand side of the map. Once you spawn in, you want to head northwest till you find this little shack. Just be careful of the Scorch Beast. And just in this bathtub here, you can always find a good amount of sugar bombs here also. For the purified water, I have these industrial purifier pumps at my base. You can find the plans at Camp McClintock in the Overseer Cache, which is quite easy to get to. But also I got these vintage water coolers from the winter event also. Now on to crafting, just make sure you have that super duper perk active and you can craft your brain bombs. And with the good with salt, they're going to spoil 90% slower also. As you can see, super duper activated there, so some of my brain bombs got duped. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate all your support. But if you would like to see more content in the future, more guides, please hit that like and subscribe button. It will really help out the channel. But until next time, you guys have a fantastic week.